Hello, my name is Georgianne Ford with the Alpha Center for Divorce Mediation. And today I've asked a guest, one of our attorney mediators, Michael Hughes, to join us for, some, for a different reason today. A lot of times Michael comes and shares um, information about the Alpha Center, but today we thought let's learn about Michael. Let's, let's learn some personal stuff about him to get to know him better, especially because he's been one of the longest uh, mediators at the center. We thought that would be helpful for all of us. So welcome, Michael, and thanks for being our guest and being willing to come on and, and share some information about yourself. Well, thanks for having me, George Ann. Sure. So I guess we want to know what made you decide to be a divorce mediator? Well, I guess it goes back to um, when I first got out of law school, I obviously went, or I, not obviously, but I did go and work for two judges in Montgomery County for about a year and a half. And then from that, I went and I, into a divorce litigation firm. And I did divorce litigation for about five years. And um, really, I saw some of the uh, struggles that people went through in going through divorce litigation. There, there's, it's obviously a difficult time for people going through that um, and can be an impact on kids as well. Uh, so one thing I started looking at is what, what other areas could I look at? And I was staying in divorce because then I had some knowledge in divorce, but I did look at divorce mediation be, and, and I looked specifically at Alpha Center um, to see what avenues we could do to help people going through divorce. And really divorce mediation uh, as a form of law is something where you are helping people going through a very difficult process. So I really went from being a, a divorce litigator where I saw some impact on families uh, to a divorce mediator where I think we tried to alleviate that impact um, on families, even they're going, they're going through a very difficult process. Right. And then how long, you've been there a pretty, pretty good, good amount of years. How long have you been at the center? I've been at Alpha Center for almost 20 years. Wow. So you've probably seen a lot of success stories with mediation. Yeah. Absolutely. I've seen a lot of success stories through mediation. There, there's been many, many that, that have come through that successfully get through through our program. And um, our statistics even say, you know, once you start with mediation, it's, it's over 90 and it might even be close to 95 percent successfully um, complete the program. Wow, that's a that's a great percentage. So what what advice would you have for someone that you know, is just considering being becoming a divorce mediator. What, what would you? I would, I, I would ask them if it's something that 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 they should really consider as something positive in their life. There's obviously many aspects of law that you can go into where you can impact people's lives in a positive way. Um, but this is this is one where you are really taking people at a very difficult time in their life, a difficult decision in their life, and especially if kids are involved, it's going to impact kids. And say, you know, do you really want to help families, uh, parents and kids going through this process? If that's something that you feel you want to do and something that is important to you, I would say absolutely look at becoming a divorce mediator because it really is. There's there's positives that you get out of doing this, again, even with people going through a very difficult process. Yeah, I can tell it because, you know, you're, you are making an impact. You're helping them put their lives back together. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's true. So tell us a little bit about you. Do you have a family? <clears throat> I do. I've been married for 29 years. I have two children, two daughters. Um, one is in college right now and the other is uh, is is a, a registered nurse in, in a local hospital here. Um, so um, they're 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 very happy in what they're doing. And again, looking to get our second daughter out of college and under her career then. Mm. So where's here? Are you in Bucks County? Or I'm in Abington, Pennsylvania Abington. is where I'm located. Oh, Abington so pretty. Yes. Yeah. Um, how about what do you like to do when you're not working? Well, there's there's uh, sports, obviously. I'm a big, big Phillies fan. Phil, not just Phillies, but Eagles, Sixers, Phillies, Flyers. Uh, and love that. Um, so don't mind sitting down and watching some sports as, as relaxation with the family. The other thing that I like to do um, to get out and do something and relax is 
golf and tennis. One thing some people don't know about me is way back when, and it seems a long time ago, I played, I played college or I played tennis in college. So, um, so I do like to play tennis and of course golf, I think everybody picks up at some point because the golf courses are full, but yeah, golf and tennis are relaxation for me now. Oh, that's really nice. Um, what else do I want to ask you? How about pets? Any pets? Yes, I do. We, uh, we have two pets. We have a 13 year old chocolate lab named rascal who's uh, the old man of the house. And then during the pandemic, we did get a, uh, our pandemic dog, our COVID dog. We, we, we got a St. Bernard, um, who's, uh, who's now, I, I guess he Barkley is now about 18 months, maybe 19 months old, but, um, but yeah, he's, he's a good dog. Aww. Uh, and, and just, it, we thought we thought the chocolate lab was a big dog, and then we got a Saint Bernard, and the Saint Bernard is really a big dog. Just thinking, there's some big dogs. You got that's really nice. That they are. What um, what would what would what do you wish you knew ten years ago that you know now? Oh, what did I wish I knew ten years ago? Well, one thing you know, I I, I wish I I, I would have known. And even going back further, the impact that I would have on people's lives in, in being a divorce mediator. I, I didn't really realize that in, 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 in when, I, when I came into this field on the impact that I would have. And I, really, it's something that is very positive um, that, that I get out of doing what I do with divorce mediation. So it, it, it's something that really... Uh, and that's one thing. It even goes back to the question when you ask, what would you tell people, uh, you know, looking at this field, really look at the impact that you can have on on people's lives. And that's one thing that, that I take as a positive every day doing this job. I could tell it takes a special person. And you have certainly shared that with the audience and, and myself to, to become a divorce mediator. So I'm wondering what made you choose the Alpha Center for Divorce Mediation? Well, the one thing when, when I took a look at different mediation programs, and I've done it even over the years, just looked at, you know, what competition was. One thing Alpha Center is, offers is really, um, it's comprehensive in what we offer. It's not just me as an attorney mediator working with you. We do have child psychologists who will work with you in developing parenting agreements. We want to make sure that everyone's being treated fairly from a tax basis. So we do have accountants involved as well. And then at the very end of it, we want to make sure that people are financially stable. So if they want to work with uh, someone who will deal with their finances, we have someone who can do it, deal with that. If you look at any other mediation service, I really don't think that there's another mediation service out there um, like Alpha Center. So I think we are unique in that way, in, the, in what we provide and that's one thing why I started with Alpha Center. And that's one reason why I stay with Alpha Center. Yeah, I, I like all the, the extra pieces to it. It's not just come in and get a, a, you go through a divorce mediation, but there's other parts to help us move on with their life. That's wonderful. Exactly. So I have one last question before we let you go. And that is, is there something that you take with you wherever you go? Is there something I take with me wherever I go? Well, the one thing is, I think you take a, a little bit of people with you wherever you go. And one person who's had a great impact on me throughout my life is my dad. Um, my dad was an attorney and he's one who pushed me to get into the legal field. He was a prosecutor for um, at the U.S. Department of Justice. And so whenever I go into it's not even just legal. Whenever I go into anything, you know, I think about what would my dad do? Because um, he was really a, a good man, a smart man, and a respected man. That is wonderful. And we would have never known that if, we, if you didn't share that. So thank you. You shared some really good stuff with us. If you would like to speak with Michael Hughes or anyone at the Alpha Center for Divorce Mediation, please give us a call, one 800 uh, 310-9085. Thank you again, Michael. Thank you, Georgianne.